what is going on with the Vegas Raiders? This team is 0-3, and a lot of people believe this is going to be the team that was going to be the breakout team in that tough division that they're in. What's up, YouTube? It's all from Sports Talk, the home of Sports Talk. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Also, smash the like button as well. This team, the Vegas Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders, are very interested to me. You come out in week one, and you come out flat, all right? You look at them in week one, they came out, and they didn't look good at all against the Chargers, right? You lost against the Los Angeles Chargers. Derek Carr had three picks, but you were trying to fight back. He got sacked five times. You're getting pressured a lot. So you went against a superpower team in Los Angeles Chargers. And you know what? It's week one. You're working out the kinks. You're teaching a brand new office system. Josh McDaniels is what's wrong with this team. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I look at him from last year. I look at him to this year. They don't have that same heart they had last year. Last year underneath Rich Versace, this team was fighting for their life. They had the whole situation with Henry Ruggs, the whole situation with John Gruden, and they still made the playoffs. And they almost beat the Cincinnati Bengals in the playoffs. It came down to a red zone play. Derek Carr throws the interception at the red zone, but they fought, they punched hard. And a lot of people counted them out then. Now, I'm not counting the Vegas Raiders out. I think they can turn this thing around because Derek Carr is still a leader of this team. But when you add pieces like Devonta Adams, right, you expect a hell of a lot more production. Him and Devonta Adams are not clicking as much. All right, then you have him and Darren Waller. They aren't clicking at all. Hunter Renfro missed the week three game with a concussion, but the offense looks out of sync. It doesn't look like how it looked last season. And I believe it's all because of Josh McDaniels. And this team doesn't have heart. They don't have the heart that they possessed last season. Then I go back in week two, and I look at them against the Arizona Cardinals. They were kicking the Cardinals down. Max Crosby's getting home. Chandler Jones getting home. All these pass rushers getting home in the first half. They're making Kyle Murray's life hell. And all of a sudden, the pass rush just went anemic in the second half. And Kyle Murray's sitting up in the pocket. He's bouncing around on his feet. He, lo he looks like a happy feet character. He's bouncing around, has happy feet. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Pushes to OT. Then they get the ball. And they beat the Vegas Raiders in OT when you were up big in that game. There's no excuse for that. Now, turnovers have been killing this team. I can't lie. But most of that is on Josh McDaniels. Week two against the Arizona Cardinals, Derek Carr had a really good game. He wasn't the reason that team fell through. Their defense let him down. And then I look at him in week three against the Tennessee Titans. You come out flat again. Right, you're getting ran on by Derrick Henry. You're coming out flat. You're going against a lowly Titans team that just got the brakes beat off of them by the Buffalo Bills. So obviously they're pissed off. But just keep Derrick Henry in check. He had 85 yards, 20 carries, four yards a carry though, one touchdown. And I'm looking at their defense. The one-on-one -on -one coverage just not working because they're so concerned about the run game. So so much man coverage being ran, you can't keep in touch with guys like Robert Woods. You can't keep in touch with guys like Trelon Burks. You just can't. This Raiders team looks anemic. They look sad. They look pathetic. And why is Mac Hollins the guy that goes off against the Tennessee Titans for 158 yards and eight receptions? Now, that's not a bad thing, but that's almost inexcusable when a guy like Darren Waller just got paid and guys like Devontae Adams just came to your team in a, in a monster trade. And Devontae Adams has gotten 10 targets. He got 17 targets in week one. Now, I am a guy that said you should not be targeting Devontae Adams that much. You should be spreading the wealth on this team, similar to what Joe Burrow does with the Cincinnati Bengals. This team has too much talent to be in the situation that they're in. You have a very good running back in Josh Jacobs. He's not a top five running back, but he's a very good running back. He only got 13 carries. And yes, he fumbled the ball. But still, he's a very good running back. They're not trying to run the football anymore. It reminds me of that old system that he had with the Denver Broncos years before. And I think Josh McDaniels is the main problem with this team. Now, should he be fired after three weeks? No. I know a lot of Vegas Raider fans are saying, yes, fire him. You fire him, then what? Rich Versace should have been the head coach anyway off of what he did last season. This is the owner's fault. If anything, if you're blaming Josh McDaniels for this 0-3 right now, you should be blaming the owner even more. It's his fault because you had the right head coach of this team in Rich Versace. They fought for that man. They hung on to every single word that he said week in and week out. He got the team to the playoffs, guys. He got that team to the playoffs without Henry Ruggs, turmoil with John Gruden. He got them there. A team that shouldn't have had no business making the playoffs, he got them there. 
a team that got the crow beat out of them last season by the Kansas City Chiefs and a lot of Vegas Raider fans were our season is done I know you guys remember that you remember the game last year when the Chiefs stomped all over the Raiders and they came out the next week and they won the game and then they went go on and make the playoffs they were the hottest team going into the playoffs besides the Cincinnati Bengals because they clicked at the right time I don't think that this man should be fired after three games I do think that if this is a 0-6 team or 0-5 team, then we're saying a different tune. But we're only three games in. He's teaching this team a new system that's just not working. He isn't putting Derek Carr and Darren Waller and Devontae Adams in the right situation that benefits them. He, he's putting them in a situation that fits to his liking. And the best coaches in the NFL, they work around their players' strengths and weaknesses. Darren Waller doesn't look like the same tight end from last year. Devontae Adam doesn't look like the same wide receiver from last year. They don't look the same. These guys do not look like how they used to look last season in this brand new system. I just don't know what's going on with these guys. I don't know what's going on with this team. But what I can say, the majority of lack of success is coming from John Gruden and not anybody else. It's not coming from Derek Carr. It's not coming from the wide receivers playing short. It's coming from John not, excuse me, not John Gruden. It's coming from Josh McDaniels. He's the biggest weakness on this team. And the biggest weakness is your head coach. Therefore, your biggest weakness is your team in general. So let me know in the comment section below, what's going on with the Las Vegas Raiders? Is it a team thing? Is it certain players that's going out there and they're not performing up the standard? Or is it just the head coach? I believe it's the head coach. I have no faith in Josh McDaniels right now. But I do believe that you wait a couple more weeks to see. He did have a meeting with the owner before the game. It was a closed door meeting. No one else knew what was going on. So maybe he is on the hot seat. But I do not think that you should be irrational and fire him after three weeks. Because to be quite honest with you, he should have never been the head coach to begin with. So let me know what you think about him in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, I want each and every last one of you guys to stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Peace.